Hello, hello. So uh, let me explain a, a thing I just realized because everything is tying together again and um, <clears throat> keep maintain understanding that there is a pattern in the background and each uh, each little understanding of this pattern contributes to the realization of it simply by stating stating that the pattern is there presenting it to other people and it will um, be more attracted to the poem and so this cage fight of Elon or Elion could be seen as Elion, the light. Elion is in the Kabbalah, it is metaphorical of the non physical light. So it is something that is not physical. And this is the interesting thing because if you take the super rich, you know that what do they strive for? Well, material gains, they strive for a physical temple. So what we do here is to play around with this a bit because the cage fight is in fact the spider net so now they now there is something in the net you see and really the best way of showing nakedness is still to do it in a cage fight that's the and and by being naked or showing a lot of skin you know, that's basically the important thing. A lot of skin to show. Skin, skin in the game, you know. Having skin in the game. Interesting, right? Because that's what Elon has, right? Skin in the game. And so... Yeah, there's so many ways of seeing this. But you also have the... The, the net is also the same net that was in Spider-Man teaser trailer hanging between the two towers capturing the, the, the helicopter hell representing helix, representing spiral, representing uh, the sun and so we have the sun and so we understand this symbol, this symbol is the two into one the sun entering the doorway, the, um, the what's his name? Um, oh, I forgot, right? Of course. But the there's a man that is pushing apart two pillars in in the Bible story, and his name represents uh, means sun, of course. Let me see. There's a lot of art for this. I should be able to find something. Never mind, I did other presentations about that. But yeah, in many ways this is... So you also have this, right? An orange juice in Supertramp, invert it and put an orange there instead and you have the sun. Okay? Orange is sun. It's the sun. So, and that's... This is, this is why the two towers fell. They fell as a representation of the fallen, fallen physical temple you know and I'm the only one on the entire internet that is saying that there's no one else talking about this uh, uh, most of the things I say uh, no one talks about uh, basically everything I say no one talks about so uh, just so you know um, So the cage fight itself The cage is the, the spider net and Elion the light goes into the spider net 
so that the temple can fall, the physical temple, and the light goes within. Two into one, again. When, when um, anyone connects patterns like I do right now, it uh, becomes more potent again. This is more, um, I'm increasing the, the, the potency when I tie together this. And uh, anyone can do this. It's not. It's not my. Uh, what I know, right? From my understanding, it's not me. You know, I don't consider myself to be God. Okay, I can just say that I see it as something going going within, which you can see in the symbolism here also. It's the sun going within. What are you? You are the observer, and the observer. Uh, devours God almost and this is what we are in my opinion we are the the limestone which is what the eye is made of the eye observes and as you know from quantum mechanics the the wave function falls, uh, in, falls uh, into a particle and I like to say that uh, light dies that's the you know being something is not a, a, a sin in itself you know if if we indeed are line and um, bird line if we are if we are the equivalence of a trap, like if I am, what am I? I am a trap for capturing God, for the light to go within. Um, you see, and there is a humbleness in this because. It means to not put yourself on a pedestal when you start having this this um, resonance and interactions with, with with reality. It's easy to to uh, get lost in the ego, and so uh, it is actually re refreshing to see yourself as not something that is um, just good and. Um, how do you say all powerful ego blah 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 but instead what we are is in my opinion some kind of some kind of other side you know um, something else we are not God okay we are not the God not at all God goes within it combines there is a, there is an agreement right so as I said, the agreement, the oath of truth, you are truthful, you uh, value truth, and so, uh, in my opinion, that's how it is. And uh, there are a lot of other people that have, um, that, that are saying the same thing, that truth is important. Uh, I can find it in the et etymology back to um, Egyptian mythology, actually, where the word um, Ankh, you know, the Ankh symbol comes from the sun, it's a life symbol, but Ankh it's itself means oath. The sunlight itself is an oath. You uh, consume, you consume the light of Elion, uh, El, you know, El, Hebrew for God, consume that and you accept the oath of uh, truth and uh, and so um, yeah uh, so yeah so this is what I think it still connects and it still seems to fit into reality how it is um, and this little find here about the the cage representing the net and vice versa is, is just absolutely perfect and this increases the chance of having a cage fight uh, so uh, but 
uh, yeah so because it's more it's more logical to, to show a nakedness in relation to a cage fight compa compared to anything else okay so that's why also this is logically and uh, logically fitting and, and it's somewhat rational uh, you know uh, yeah okay so this is all uh, the music to this video is um, Behemoth Sleeps by Every Path Leads it's a very small artist uh, I like it a lot see you another time bye bye